a 27-year-old man who waterboarded his four-year-old daughter because she couldn't recite her ABCs. And he admits to waterboarding her three to four times because he says that she's terrified of water. Yeah, that, that would probably be a reason not to waterboard her when she's four years old. Look, you know, some people are going to think this is a stretch, right? But I think that there's validity to it. This is why we, part of the many reasons why we shouldn't waterboard people. Because it becomes pervasive. It becomes, it seeps into the culture. Why? Because you've got half the country, well, about 30 to 40 percent of the country, conservatives in, in the country saying, no, waterboarding is great. Of course you should waterboard. There's nothing wrong with waterboarding. Right? Of course, of course, waterboarding is awesome. Bill O'Reilly says it every night. Glenn Beck says it every night. Sean Hannity says it every night. And so, and, and, and Rush Limbaugh calls all that stuff just frat uh, boy kind of antics, and it's not a big deal. So then you're going to have idiots throughout the country, and it's not a lot of people, but it's going to be some people who are going to think, well, that's a proper punishment. If somebody's not doing something, you waterboard them, even if it's your four-year-old. Now, I know it's not obviously not overly common, and this guy's a psycho, right? And I don't want to say, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying all right-wingers are like this, not by a long shot. But if you keep sending the message out that it's A-OK -okay to do it, eventually somebody's going to do it. And maybe a lot of people, maybe this is the only one we know about, but they got it in their head, yeah, if somebody does something wrong, you waterboard them, like as if it's no big deal. That kid is going to be unbelievably traumatized. Oh, absolutely. I mean, is she ever going to go in the water again? Look, we've had a hundred different people, reporters, et cetera, go and try the waterboarding, conservative talk shows, et cetera. Every one of them comes out going, oh my God, that was the most terrifying thing I've ever gone through. I'm sorry, it's torture, right? You going to do that to a four-year-old three or four times? Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, that's beyond sick. And this guy's a clown. Yeah, this guy's, I mean, he's had a history with violence. When uh, authorities Shocking. found her, she had scratch marks on her neck and bruises on her back. His girlfriend even said that, you know, he would have these temper tantrums where he would beat his four-year-old daughter. Just d disgusting man. Disgusting. Sometimes if she wet herself, they would let her sit her in her own urine to teach her a lesson for, like, a, you know, most of the day. Okay. And when they found the guy, he's in Kevlar and a helmet, and he's walking through the streets yelling. He's ready. You know, it's like it's a classic one of those like, oh, people are coming mm -hmm. and I'm ready and I'm waterboarding people and I got weapons. Right. So, look, don't overgeneralize and don't take mistake me for uh, thinking that I'm overgeneralizing. I know this is a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage. It's just it like we're worried about Glenn Beck uh, inciting violence. You don't need a lot of people to do something stupid. You just need a couple. Don't encourage it by pretending that waterboarding is some great thing that there's nothing wrong with because you're going to encourage idiots like this.